Hello, good friends, it's the Twykeen. And are you ready for some more Sonic on my channel? Well, I hope you are, because I'm really looking forward to my favorite Sonic game of all time. Let's go and get it started. And yes, I'm playing the, the Director's Cut version, not the Dreamcast version. That is something I actually first used to play on. <laughs> Back at a, uh, at a relative's house way back when it first came out. <laughs> but now that it's on GameCube and stuff, I can now play it on there <laughs> with um, a lot of passion. Plus, the director's cut has extra features, <laughs> which is going to make it even more fun. But, not waste any more time. Anyways, the file I'm going to select is this empty one down here. Now saving message will appear, yeah. Gonna see that quite a bit <laughs> in this project. And now as far as how Sonic Adventure DX works, it's not really um, a side-scrolling platformer, it's more like just a 3D adventure. Kinda like uh, Mario and Zelda. And we can only select adventure or options. So let's just go and get the adventure started. And yeah, not, not only can we play as Sonic, but also six other characters. <laughs> they include Tails, who is um became Sonic's best friend in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Knuckles, who became first an arch enemy in Sonic 3, then as an ally later on. Amy, who first appeared in Sonic C D as mainly a character that had to be rescued, kinda like how Mario has to save Princess Peach. Big the Cat. I don't know how he got into this game, but him. To me, he is pretty much um, the one character that can be quite a pain to play. But you'll see what I mean once we get to him. And then there's E102 Gamma. We'll explain about him later on. I'm just going to play each character's um, their own mission for this particular playthrough of the project. And I'm going to be playing the characters in not just the order I showed you. I'm going to be playing them more like, um, in a certain order. Probably, I'm going to start with Sonic first, because that's all, all I can start with. And then, maybe not Tails next, but also somebody like Amy or Big I'll play next. Okay. And yeah, I could choose to have instructions on how to play a Sonic. But I don't need those, because I already know how to play it. So, I'm going to get him started. And boy, am I glad to get this project started. Just think of the music for this particular section of the game. It is just, um... The soundtrack they made for this game, it's just, um... The awesome thing, and that's pretty much what I explained in my update video. That, um... Makes this game probably the best for a soundtrack. And here's... Our favorite blue hedgehog in the city. Oh, yeah. this is happening. And he speaks. Very awkward driving by those police cars. What's up? Yeah, what is up? So, yeah, I expect to see a lot of now loading screens. <laughs> Which can take up a little bit of time, but that's pretty much what it is when you play a disc game like this. <laughs> you are completely surrounded. Surrender yourself. Lock on target, man. Ready? Yeah, it's hard to see how a liquefied person can be shot. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it can be fun. Especially in the rain. So yeah, we start the game off with a little boss. <laughs> Chaos Zero. Now I bet you're wondering why he's Zero. <laughs> because he simply doesn't have um, any of this particular item that he wields. 
Ooh. I almost stepped into his puddle. If I would have done that, I would have lost some rings. Can I get him right? Ah! Yeah, I forgot he does that when you try to hit him the third time, so all I can do is just pretty much avoid his attacks until he comes back down. And he's dead. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. So yeah, every time a level or a boss is cleared, we're going to have <laughs> a score sheet and stuff. I don't know why that helicopter made a sound. I never really hear that every time I first play it. <laughs> Millions of times. Come on, you big drip. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, kind of weird seeing a puddle flow itself down to there. But Sonic is just going like, I got no choice but to look down. But what's above him? You know nothing, fool! It's Chaos, the god of destruction! <laughs> well, we can pretty much know who that is. <laughs> Especially when you battle him in, in all the Sonic games that precede this one. And hey, a uh, nice... Nice little beach hotel party going on, except for he's just sleeping on it. And an out of control plane. Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! And man. Tails! Now, what am I gonna do with you? Hmm. Yeah, Tails can be up to no good trying to be a hero. In probably the most weird of circumstances. But, time for the first action stage. <laughs> this is where the big uh, amount of platforming really comes into play. And the mission for this one is just to rescue Tails. Very simple. Just navigate through a linear path and you're pretty much got it. Oh, whoops. I don't know how I took that one way far ahead. Oh, come on. Yeah, I really like the targeting for this particular Sonic game. It just really makes the physics for it a whole lot more improved from the uh, the 2D side-scrolling ones. <laughs> and this is pretty much my only favorite 3D Sonic side-scrolling game. Or, I mean, um, 3D um, adventure platformer one. You could say, um, when I did Sonic 3D Blast, that, that was... Um, right in there in the mix, but that was an isometric view. Yeah, I really need to get across this bridge fast. Especially when you got a big whale behind you. That's causing a lot of destruction to the bridges. <laughs> but yeah, that kind of simulation is just another thing that really makes this game awesome. And I just barely make it over those spikes. And oh yeah, if you're wondering what those gates were that I passed through, they're pretty much checkpoints, so if I ever, like, die from getting hit by an enemy with no rings, or if I just fall off an edge. I start back from where I hit the last checkpoint. It'll even tell me what time I was at, because I am timed for how far I can complete it. I don't know why I couldn't stay on there, that was weird. I mean, the, uh, the speed shoes that I have on can definitely keep me on it. But they decided not to do that for me today. And in case you're wondering how I got locked back onto the, uh, ooh, ooh, almost backed myself into that. <laughs> oh, come on. But yeah, the physics on this game can also be kind of flawed, especially if you're trying to, um, make certain jumps or even target jumps or target hits. But otherwise, it still has a really good, um, simulation feel to it. But yeah, if you check out this, or, uh, no, not quite. I didn't, couldn't pull it off there. I was talking about making a shortcut to that little island on the right, but I guess I have to take the long way. It's okay, though. <laughs> a hand ball. Yeah. Yeah, had to jump on a panel. <laughs> or else I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> and that's not cool. I'd have to start back over again. But, oh yeah, check this out once I reach Tails. Ten more seconds were added to the, uh, time. That's pretty much the case for a lot of, um, 
like rescue missions or anything like that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and skip that. Yeah, not bad. And for rescuing Tails and completing that mission, get an emblem. Now, as far as emblems go for this game, I'm not going to aim on collecting every single one. Because it would really make this game way long. Oh yeah, that song you just heard in the background, that is pretty much my favorite character song in the entire game. Yeah, every character has their own theme. <laughs> that was Tails, and his is probably the ultimate best. But yeah, as Tails said, gotta go to his workshop by train. Which is kind of weird. I mean, uh, I don't see why Sonic couldn't just use his um, supersonic speed to get to the Mystic Ruins. I mean... He definitely could have beat a train to it, <laughs> but oh well, I guess that's just how to really get to it. And the Mystic Ruins is definitely not one of my favorite places in the game because it has very weird music, what you're listening to, and it gets cut out. <laughs> if it isn't Sonic! Look, it's a giant talking egg! Pirates! I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in the world! Whatever you say, Eggman! Enough! I've got big plans! And now, I'm gonna put them to work! You're always up to no good. Now what do you want? I want all of the Chaos Emeralds! Never not interfere! Or else! Or else what, you big loser? Or else I'll take them from you by force! The hard way! I say the voice actor for Robotnik, or should I say Eggman, is just, um, really hilarious. <laughs> He's gonna try to take the Chaos Emerald with that much force? <laughs> is that really gonna work? <laughs> Another boss battle. The Egg Hornet. Yeah, I gotta collect rings to make sure I don't get any hits on him. In other words, not get hit by him. And yeah, this is the best way to attack him. Oh, I couldn't pull it off. If you have him down like that, you could actually hit him multiple times, but I guess I mistimed it. I'll try it again once he gets to, um, down here again. Alright. Here he comes. Oh, still couldn't get it. Maybe I let go of A too quickly. But he only needs just one more hit. Which is not bad, and at least I let him say, he's not gonna get away with this. But really, what he's doing is really not much of an effort. <laughs> Alright. Just watch him explode. And the timer still goes after you've made the last hit on him. I mean, that's ridiculous. Hey, I'll play with you some other time. Otherwise, that battle is not too hard. <laughs> it's just um, pretty much way so much of a pushover.
And down he goes. Well, that wasn't so hard. Oh no! <laughs> hey, oh, didn't you have a pocket to keep that in? I swear. The other day. That <laughs> really makes this game really funny. <laughs> oh, yes. It's just as the stone tablets predicted. <laughs> His strength increases every time I feed him a Chaos Emerald. With all seven emeralds in him, he'll be invincible and work for me. Together. We'll destroy Station Square. And on its ruins, I'll build Robotnik Land, the ultimate city, where I will rule it all. Come on, Chaos, let's find another emerald, shall we? Yeah, he definitely sounds like a <laughs> preschooler saying Robotnik Land. <laughs> That's something a preschooler would say. No kidding, Tails. Well, time to find the next emerald, but it would have to be where Tails' workshop is. Right over here. The windstone. But yeah, after you defeat the egg Eggman, you can definitely just roam around the area <laughs> to see what's around here. But I'm not going to be doing much of that because I don't want to spend too much time doing that for a recorded project. But anyways, the reason why I'm putting this key right here is to allow more air to flow up and Sonic can finally get on up. <laughs> 